Good morning, GCC. Uh, we welcome you back to our Lent devotionals as we look at the life of Christ in his last week through the book of Mark. I'm going to be reading from Mark uh, chapter 12, starting in verse 41. Uh, and he, that is Jesus, sat down opposite the treasury and began observing how the people were putting money into the treasury and many rich people were putting in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which amount to a cent. Calling his disciples to him, he said to them, Truly I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the contributors to the treasury, for they all put in out of their surplus, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she owned, all she had to live on. This is a story here where Jesus is seen in the temple, sitting um, in the courts where they used to be able to come and give offerings, give money um, as a uh, uh, as a way to support the temple and, and the poor and other things. And so he's just watching people uh, give their funds. And he sees all these people who are clearly wealthier, who give large sums of money. And then he sees this widow who comes and, and gives very little assent. But he says that she's actually given more. Uh, I, I believe the reason that Jesus is, is saying that is because while it's all that she had, what it is is it's a declaration of trust. This widow is saying that I am not trusting in my own capacity. I'm not trusting in myself or this money to get me through. My hope and my trust and my faith is in the Lord and that he is my provider in this time, uh, that he's going to see me through. And so I will give of the little I have back, trusting that he is, he is the one in control. I just want to encourage you in a similar fashion this this season, would you trust the Lord with all of your life? He is good. I know the times are uncertain. I know we don't know what's going to happen. Um, that some people are losing their jobs. Some people are losing large sums of money through other capacities. But whatever your circumstance is or whatever your situation is, you can trust God with all you have. Uh, for those who still have excess um, things, would you continue to pray and ask the Lord how he desires for you to use your your resources in this time? Um, will we all press into what Jesus is asking of us? Will we acknowledge that he is trustworthy? Uh, he really is. Um, just like this widow who gave all that she had, we can trust God with all that we have. Um, he is wonderful. He is precious. He is trustworthy. Will we worship him with all that we have in this season? Will we not in fear hold back um, in any way from how we would normally worship him, how we would follow him or obey him? Because he is worth it and he is trustworthy. God, we just ask that you would help us to choose and to trust in obedience to your spirit. 